What is up guys? It's me, Vix123. Welcome back to Vix Temporary Holding Place and the Crazier Craft series. Absolutely loving this. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, thank you all for the feedback advice on the last episode. As you can now see, I'm wearing my very swaggy swaggy adventurer backpack. I have uh, made the uh, carrot backpack as well, so that is uh, super, super sweet. So today is the day of the move, I believe. I think I should be able to fit all this stuff. Into actually how much uh, space because we still actually have a bit so I can press B and pull up this This is actually awesome as well because I can use this I can craft on the go I can make anything I need as I go. It's a temporary. It's a portable sleeping and crafting and Liquid storing you can store liquids in the tanks either side actually. I've not tested that before so let's see how that works So if I go here Open this up and then drop this. Oh my gosh. I'm filling it up with water. That is right. Do you see that? Do you see the water on the backpack? You don't, unfortunately. That would have been super cool. So uh, I just have like a, a water supply, I guess. And how do I get water out of there? Is that if I put it there? I'm not sure. I've not worked that much out yet. And classic, the rain came down. But today is the day of the move. I'm going to be collecting up all of my little things and uh, moving on to build a proper house. Now, come to think of it, I actually need to get some materials on. The way I haven't really thought of a material scheme. We're going to be moving down to this area down here. Uh, Lachlan's place is there. I'm actually going to move. Yeah, I said over here down by this little water here. So we'll see what that area is like. When we get down there, we'll probably pick a material from the area nearby. I'm going to have to collect up all my stuff, of course, before we move on over that way. Another thing I worked out is it's you press this button so I can quickly change between morphs. And oh my gosh, is that like one of me? Am I you? I'm going to kill it because it looks cool. I think that's just exactly what I am. Yeah, I'm one of these guys at Golden Rembora. Whoa. He hit me. Not very hard there. Oh, he's a Golden Rock. Spelt wrong. Oh, yeah, I killed one of these guys, didn't I? They didn't really drop anything that good, do they? Um, no, they really don't. That was uh, a bit of an anticlimax. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting a lot of time into this episode, getting everything built up. Also, uh, let's just get back inside before... All the bad things of the night. Come and mess with me. But yeah, I'm going to collect everything up and uh, begin my journey to uh, the uh, the other place, to the other side. Hello from the other side. Does that keep the recipes and stuff in it? Wait, hold up. And we're set, so let's place that back down. Yeah, it actually keeps them stored inside. That is super, super cool. I am down for a bit of that. So yeah, we're going to pick up everything here. Probably wait for it to stop raining. And then we are going to move. We've actually got some really good stuff collected so far, actually. This is only episode... What is this now? This is this must be episode three. Yeah, we're doing we're doing, doing pretty good. And it is now time to venture off. Let me grab up all of my beautiful sugar cane. The river cane apparently wasn't very, wasn't very uh, interested in growing up. So let's fly up. And uh, yeah, I definitely do want to be getting some materials. Also... I'm glad we're moving out because we don't have what even what even is going on here. There's there's just there's just bad stuff under that house. It was almost haunted. I could always hear them going like in the background. That was a really bad impression. But whatevs, I will fly out and if I see anything of interest again, I'll let you guys know and you'll be back in the video. Strangely enough. So we're just coming into the biome now, and as you can see, it seems like meteors have struck everywhere. So as soon as I start building my house, I'm definitely going to get a meteor shield. In there, look, these trees have just been wrecked. So I think this is—is is this cherry wood or Sakura? Let's see. Ah, oh, it's cherry wood. Now, how does this look when you actually craft it up? Because we could do something potentially quite cool, actually, with the kind of base of this wood, and then kind of creating—it's gonna be a kind of weirdly pink house. Is this cherry wood as well? It is. Okay, white cherry. Is it? Is it still just cherry wood? Yeah, it's just cherry wood. So let's uh, let's start looking at this material. So what do I want to do? I want to go in here. This is actually not all too useful right now. I mean, I can make... Ooh, cherry wood's actually red. And then let's see what we can do with it once we get a chisel out, which I think is actually in the carrot backpack. We're kind of... We're riding pretty full in terms of inventory right now. But it's all good. Let's grab this. Can you do anything? Ah, oh, you can't. You can't chisel it. Um, we could we could definitely fit it in somewhere. Maybe if we go for a wooden design. The thing is, you can't get actually that many cool just stock wooden blocks. So perhaps we'll have to think of something else. I've also just realized why on earth am I using a stone tool when I have myself um, iron blocks in here in this one, I believe. 
Yep, we've got iron blocks, which we can just make straight into it. Look how cool is that? And I can actually just do it in here. Although we don't actually have the sticks, but look, you just put that back up there. This is actually epic. Look at that. It's so, so, just on the go, just crafting. Don't even have to make that crafting table. Boom, there we go. There is your iron axe. I'm going to grab some of this. I think I'm going to make the framework of the house out of uh, cherry wood. And then I'll need, like, another uh, material to kind of panel the walls, if that makes any sense right now. I think, yeah, the cherry wood will look nice, and we'll find something to complement it. Uh, a, a chiselable. A chiselable. Is chiselable a world? A, a world? No, it's not my world. Is it a word? We'll, we'll find out soon enough. So we've got one of these little slime islands up here. Let's see if we can score ourselves some blue slime, actually. Very useful. Tinker's material does not look so, but we can get some, some congealed purple slime instead. And our inventory is full because we are trucking stuff from A to B. What can I throw out right now? Blueberry seeds, goodbye. Can you make that into... No, you can't. Okay, what about the congealed green slime? Come on, there's got to be something in this for me. Let's see, congealed green slime. Usually you get the king slimes up here and you can fight those guys. Oh, there we go. Oh, you get regular slime balls. I think actually you can use regular slime balls for uh, the... Here we go, let's store those in there. You can use those for making Tinker's tools. Hey, there's some blue slime. Uh, so blue slime is a good Tinker's uh, material. Kill those guys nice and easy. Steal their morph. Steal their slime. All of the slime. Sorry, dude. It wasn't meant to be like this. Oh, that guy's going to suffocate. I kind of feel bad now. Just a little bit. There we go, some blue slime. Gelatinous slime. Smells terrible, but if you have nothing else to eat... I would never eat that. I think these guys can breathe underwater. No, they, they, they can't. Rip. Rip slimes. 2015. So this is roughly the area I was thinking about when I looked on the map. But one problem is there's a big lava mess over there that just creates lava messes. And uh, there's some more lava down there. Because originally we were thinking by this little water pool right here. But that looks pretty ugly. And I was thinking about going on the water here. But then you're going to have a view of that. Which isn't very nice. Then over there, that's not particularly nice scenery either. Kind of this area is all very nice. And actually, tons of free sugar cane. Why could I have not found this earlier on? Would have been so nice. So, so nice. But hey -o. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a bit more of a scout around the general area. I mean, let's see. Perhaps we could go down there somewhere. That might look okay. Let's see what this area here looks like. This area right here could actually be quite promising. I didn't realize this was such a steep cliff. But actually, this could be quite cool just on the edge of this cliff face. You've got a lot of area to build. Kind of maybe build something that kind of sticks out here. I'm not really sure kind of what style of house I'm going to go for. I might just kind of start laying it out and just see where we end up kind of thing. Maybe just like a little balcony type thing here. A little deck and then a house that follows this cliff around perhaps. What's this red stuff? On, um, Huh. What on earth is this about? I'm scared that these guys... Oh, he's coming in, he's coming in, and oh my gosh, he looks creepy. Okay, no, you're not... You've asked bids. Um, aren't seeming too bad. But do you just consistently spawn here? Like, are you the queen, Vespid? Vespid queen, hurts! Hurts! Oh. Dead, okay. Got the hive's heart. What is the hive's heart? Uh, I need to eat. Where is my steak? I put it in one of these... There it is. Get rid of the Energon, Energon crystal. Okay, these things can go in water. Luckily, I didn't choose the Blaze Morph. Uh, oh, here, what do we get? What block even is this? Actually, let's get rid of the small rock. Pro, okay, so that's Lycanites again. We got like Propolis, it's called, and that's like hive stuff. I don't know. What are we going to throw out here? Water artichoke seeds. What do we get here? Vest wax. Can we do anything with that? Let's see, burn time, like a nice, let's see, I'm assuming you can't carve it, can't carve this stuff, strange, okay, I think I'm going to have to get rid of that, because that doesn't look very nice up there, but yeah, I'm thinking here could be, unless there's a higher up point, oh, classic rain coming down, and now I see what's over this side, and you've got a pretty cool valley over here as well, whoa, whoa, okay, so this is Skystone Meteorite right here, you can, you can, get, there's like a chest you can get in the middle of these, isn't there? Jeez, it's not easy to, uh, mine through, my goodness. I think you need, uh, a good pick for that. We've got high ground here, another meteor has hit. 
You can have a real high ground point that has that lava nearby, which would be annoying when it's not raining. Follow this along, you've got some really steep drops down here. Interesting terrain. I think I like this area, though. Well, the little area I found, at least when it's not raining, when it's daytime. So I think what I'm going to do is actually collect a ton of stone. I think, or could we go mar marble again? There's a lot of easy marble here. Marble was a real struggle to get last season. Marble or stone? Maybe a combination of the two. I don't know how they would... Would they work side by side? Let me remind myself. I really should go and dump some of my gear as well before I start trying to build stuff. Eat the berry. Eat the berry. We don't need this stuff. We don't need this stuff. Eat this. Can I even eat this? Nope. Let's just throw it out. Whatever. So let's remind ourselves. What do we get with marble? Okay, you get... Hmm. We could use it kind of marble to kind of detail, I guess. If we make the majority of it out of stone, then yeah, just marble to detail, I think, could definitely work. So let's get a load of stone collected, and then... I still think I would like to use the cherry wood as well. I don't know. Will that work, though? Let's see. Cherry wood next to marble or stone. Cherry wood. And then we don't actually have any stone on us. I'm sure there's something in one of my backpacks. I'm sure I collected some. Not in here. And then if I press B. I could have sworn I had some stone. Unless I've probably just missed it. It's probably in my inventory somewhere and I'm not seeing it. I have no idea. Um, let's see how marble would look next to it. Let's chisel some of this up. So let's say we were using this marble. Let's have a look. Um, Nah, there's no real match there. I, I, um, I need to do some more thinking. Definitely some more thinking. Before we go for this. So I'm going to be honest. I've been struggling a bit here. Just trying to think what I want to do. Just in modded Minecraft. Um, let me see. There's just so many blocks. It's like where do you even begin. And I was thinking. You know I don't really want to use marble too much. I you know, made a marble house before in the last season of Crazy Craft. And I was like do you know what. I've never made a house out of. Because I was thinking in vanilla Minecraft. You've got a few things. It's easier in vanilla Minecraft. You can make like a wooden house. A stone house, a clay house, and a brick house. And I was like, I've never actually built with bricks in Minecraft. And I actually feel like they would uh, they would modify really well on here. So I'm cooking up some stone. I've landscaped a little bit. But actually, I feel like a combination of wood and brick could work really well. So I need to get myself some clay. And uh, there's some conveniently down here that we can go and help. This is clay. Like, what is this? Mud. <laughs> okay. Got some clay right here. And... Ooh, what is it? Oh, I think this is Lachlan's house. He's gone for your standard, your standard cave house. I right, rate it. Custom doors, doorbell. See what is what sound it makes. Yep, standard doorbell sound. Let's kill the skeleton for him. I'm gonna actually have a little nose around. So yeah, marble and uh, dark wood. Very, very much rating the use of the. I think those are yeah, dark oak fancy signs. Jeez, this place is nice. He's got his furnace room set up here. Um, what is this? Dark oak again. So yeah, with the different woods, you can do a lot, actually. So I want to get a ton of wood. Andesite. Oh, andesite chisel's really nice. Oh, actually, this, this helps a lot, actually. Helps a lot that you've got the fancy glass, of course. Okay, you've got a way down to mining down there. These are all iron chests. You want to get this upgraded, bro. You want them diamond crystal chests. And uh, yeah, rate it. Rate it a lot. And what is, what is this? A protect... Oh, is that a... Uh, how, how do we look at this? Protected land tester. Oh, yeah, for falling meteors. So there we go. I'm going to make a way bigger meteor thing. But yeah, I'm going to get loads of clay. Cook it up. Get a load of wood. And then try and work out what we're doing with ourselves. From that point onwards. Um, probably best to change to myself. For digging this stuff. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So it's been a good while now. I've got most of the materials. I have tons of spare wood. We're cooking up. We've nearly got another full thing of uh, of clay right here. I've made some of it into brick. See, this is one thing I have done. That I was a little disappointed about, and I should have probably looked at this sooner. I mean, actually, the varied blocks look quite cool, but not a huge fan of the mortalist bricks, and then you've got the regulars and the large bricks. I mean, we could make, like, let's make a... Uh... Actually, you want to do it one at a time, so I'm struggling here. What you want to do is let's see what one varied brick looks like. 
one large brick and then also one mortalist brick to kind of decide how those, and yellow bricks, I really, I don't know, hopefully they look better than they look down there, because if they look like they look down there, then they are not an option, let's see what we have, so large bricks, yeah, I don't really like, I, those I definitely like, and I like how it filters them all in, the yellow bricks, yeah, look, I wish you could get kind of different shades of the red, the, uh, yeah, the, the varied blocks, the bricks, I like the look of those, um, those are those, so I think I'm going to use those, but I don't think that kind of substitutes a full kind of design. One thing I've been doing right here is I've been landscaping. Actually, where did all my dirt go? Oh, wait, here it is. I've um, been landscaping a bit, so I want to try and create a nice kind of big flat area. I guess if it means I extend out this like this, it's not actually the worst thing. We did have some spare dirt, and I mined some up. I want to get it all to this flat level right here for where the floor is going to be. Although, actually, come to think about it, surely the floor will be raised up a level, but I guess it doesn't matter, it can be raised up a level from here. I just want to kind of give myself a nice bit of space. Actually, if I try and get some symmetry, at least for this end section here, looking quite nice. Actually, yeah, if we try and keep those in line, we've used all of our dirt there, so I'm going to need to harvest some more from elsewhere. That's literally all the dirt I had. If we continue that out and maybe have it go in a straight line along here, so we have some kind of linear structure. So. I'd said I'd hit a brick wall, so to speak, but actually, no, I think I'm coming together with an idea. If I have this going a straight line to here, perhaps even down here. I like I like the idea of there being this kind of drop-off. It will give you a nicer view as well. So we bring this along to here, kind of bring it out this way. In a straight line this way, we'll have to landscape out all of this, curve all of this down, and have the house kind of continue to, yeah, somewhere like here. That's the aim, and then I'll have kind of a big curved window area. Around here, that's the plan. Gonna go and harvest up some dirt and get going with it. And uh, I guess I'll keep giving you guys updates as the process goes on. Because I want to put a lot of kind of thought into this building. I feel like one of the reasons I'm not very good at building is uh, I do a lot of it on video and a lot of it uncut. And I'm gonna kind of stop that for this series and for the future. In the sense that you need to kind of take it slowly, you know, retry a lot of things. It can be quite tedious, I think, to get things looking really nice on building. And I get kind of like stressed in my mind when I'm trying to do it on camera. Just because, you know, I feel like I have to get it right the first time. And if I don't, I don't want to go back and redo it all. So, uh, I'm going to be just doing kind of s slight updates as the progress goes on this. I think that is the plan. So, let's do it. So, the latest idea that's come to mind is actually I'm kind of creating all of this landscaping space right here. But I was thinking, actually, one, I've run out of dirt again. I've only made it to here. But I was thinking, actually, maybe if I put the a wooden base across this whole area right here, kind of coming out to here... I put a big wooden base, and uh, then I kind of work from there. So that's going to get rid of all of this dirt. So again, it's going to take a while, but I think it could look quite good. In fact, where did my shovel... My shovel didn't break, did it? No, I, I have no idea where it went. Pretty sure it didn't break. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking actually a wooden kind of cap top there, because I was getting to this bit, and I was thinking I could have kind of like uh, wooden log supports riding up here, which I think would be really good. And I was like, actually, couldn't this whole kind of section be a material, so I think I'm going to have, and then that will integrate into the floor, so I'm going to do an outline of wood um, for the shape of the house, and then see where we go from there, and actually if we look at chiseling just oak wood, let's see what options we get, so this is kind of the outside section, so it needs to be something quite sturdy, I'm feeling like this could work quite well, or the vertical oak planks, let's see, fancy oak, uh, let's, let's try this, I don't, I don't. I have no idea where my uh, where my shovel went. Uh, we're just gonna have to go in the carrot backpack and make a new one, which is fine by me. I did I drop it by accident? I might have done. I have no idea. So this is what I'm thinking. We can kind of trial it here, and if it looks okay, then we can continue it the whole way around. Hello, Mr. Goodbye, Mr. Tree. Hello and goodbye. It's uh, also yeah. Actually, I like the look of that. And then, if I was to have, and then what I would do is, uh, you can't, you can't chisel this, can you? No, you can't. What I would do is, uh, every so often, so maybe every other, and have it kind of double here, is I would have this kind of a thing going on. This is, yeah, I'm liking where this is going now. I'm liking the direction we are moving in. And then, same again here. How does this look? So there we go, yeah, something like that moving around, and then obviously the next section would be 
along here. And, that, and the kind of walling of the house will run along on top of here and we'll have a different flooring material. So this could definitely be something. And this will at least let me get the whole layout of the house nailed down. And it works in well with the cliff. This is what we're going for. Let's uh, continue it and see how it looks when it's all done. What the heck is that? Um, hello, friend. I would like to kill you, please. Beholder. The beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Ooh, free, uh, free gas tears. Wherever they went, did I get them? Yep, yeah, okay, gas tears. Sure, I'll take that. That was a little bit creepy. Yeah, we're still building it away, by the way. I'm trying to work out where I want the kind of end point to be. Perhaps just down and along this kind of stretch here. Oh, uh, guys, guys, I'm trying to build. I'm trying to build, all right? I'm trying to work out how this house going to be. Just don't got time for you. Reliver. Too cool for you. Thanks. Thanks, game. Let's uh, get some more oak made. Let's pull out the chisel. Let's get some more of this. I actually like this. Uh, I like these types of wood. They're good. So, yeah, if we think kind of floor space. We'll have a lot of floor space from this, and we can do kind of underground rooms and that sort of stuff. So I think I'm just going to run this probably along here. I want to keep it rectangular shape, and you'll be getting towards square if you go out beyond this length. So I'm going to continue it down here, I think. Although the thing I'm noticing now is you kind of lose this, lose this edging here. But it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so let's, let's match this down to here. I'm probably going to fill this in with dirt rather than leave it hollow. And the other thing I was thinking that I may actually go ahead and trial right now while we're here is uh, I decided that I really do not like the dirt that we have down underneath. So I'm thinking perhaps a varied brick we could use to fill in all of these so it looks a little more sturdy. And then we could potentially build underground at some point. I don't think the dirt works well alone. But I think, yeah, yeah, that's way better. That is way, way, way better. So I'm going to kind of continue that just along this little bit. Just have one last look at how it looks. So this would be misplaced that. Fantastically, this would be kind of like this. And then this. And then it would be there. If we just fill this section in like that, I just wasted a brick. Yeah, honestly, bricks are kind of annoying to make, so I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to fill this back in with dirt, which we have tons of now. Uh, it was, yeah, that's going to turn into grass, so it'll look quite good. It's just all the areas that aren't grass that look kind of messy. That's looking good, and I think actually the area is going to look really good is down here. Again, it's very, very easy to make this slight change. This is going to look so much better. Wait for this. This, this is only quick to do, so I'm doing this on camera, as it were. Yeah, we're on something. I know we've not even started really building the house yet. But that looks, that already is the start of something I, I like more than, you know, most other modded stuff I've built before. Because again, you just get that extra time and thought if you can just kind of sit, humming, humming. I do a lot of that, just sit there just like, hmm, what does it need? What does my place need? My little place. And it, and it helps. So, I'm going to continue doing more steps. And I'll see you guys in a bit. And we've just realized this doesn't add up to a corner, so I'm going to have to extend this whole thing out one but it happens. I have all sorts of seeds I've collected as well, which I'm just not interested in right now. I don't know, maybe that's a mistake, but they're obviously not hard to get. So many different seeds. Now that we've got that, actually, we can extend this out um, to here, probably. And actually, would it run? I don't know, whatever. Let's continue this back along. And there we go. We have the basic layout of the house, which I'm finally actually... Quite happy with little bits of uh, extra stuff to fill in just here and there. So we need the brick to be here. And then we just need two uh, oak woods to go either side on uh, this little bit. Now that is finished. Actually, we can need one more down here. Honestly, I've spent more time just getting this kind of floor plan shape done than I've probably spent on you know most of my houses before. But it creates something that I think looks really nice. Now we have to place the floor in. And I'm not sure what I'm actually going to do with this. So the walls are going to all run up this section. So you won't really see this section, I don't think. I'm not actually entirely sure how I'm going to do windowing 
now that I come to think of it. And actually, I may even cut some of this out so it's not um, interlocking. So that space, that space, that space. I think, maybe. I'm not even entirely sure. One thing that's actually quite cool is we can continue up these, um, some of these at least, some of these support sections. If we want to. Yeah, that could work quite well. So if I had this kind of continue up like this. Then we probably skip that one. Have this one continue up. And I'm already doing this right now. Again, this may change. We're going to have a window section there. I think, yeah, definitely these actually are going to get cut out. and Because uh, if we wanted to have windowing along there, I think that's how we'd want to have it. Yeah, yeah, we wouldn't want to have it. I don't know, would we want to have it too thick? I guess actually that's something we need to check at this point. Do I have any glass going around? I'm not sure that I actually do. Have a look in here. Uh, let's see. No, nothing in there. And here we've got a ton of sand, but it's not smelted, so there we go. We can go and can grab this. This is all done now. Actually, using wood for fuel was a good idea when we had tons of it, but we don't have so much now. It's fine. That should fill up the rest of this. There we go. We can look at windows. Then, so that would continue up like that. What do we think to that? Um, interesting. Interesting for sure. We could have... Another windowed section in there. Uh, I guess if we had some brick just kind of coating where the windows will be. If we made brick window frames. Something like that. Then three glass along there. Oh, I, I do actually, you know, I've decided these, these bricks have grown on me. The assorted ones. I think I'm, I've decided that the windows, yeah, are just going to be. Okay, yeah, if you had a window section that was too high there and too high there. And then kind of another section across the top. Maybe we'll make the windows three. Three high, we could potentially do. And then here, I would probably have it go straight to the corner here. These are like the, the, the beams. Then here, again, probably a similar thing. We think, we think, we're not entirely sure. This area here as well, I'll probably just... Dirt up so you don't see that kind of frame section there. Like that. That looks all good. I do, I really like matching the kind of terrain that we have around us. I, I do like that. It it adds a real challenge. I, you know, I understand why everyone and I a lot of the time go for kind of indoor structures. It's because you don't have to worry about how it looks from the outside. I'm really concerned about how this looks from the outside. That's the thing most people are going to see on this house. Whereas when you build a lot of houses in Minecraft, like uh, cliff ones. The only thing you have to decorate is the inside, which takes away a lot of the pressure. I think it's definitely hard to make things look good from the outside, and that's what I'm trying really hard to do right now. But yeah, um, I think I think the it, the materials are working all right so far. So let's see if we've got some glass to work with now. This is this is the most serious I've ever been while building. Let's get rid of you for now. Let's pull you through, and here we go. So we're gonna look at. Different types. I always like the light glass. Maybe borderless, though, could work well here. Let's see. Let's try some borderless. Thing is, I'm going to break it here. Let's try some so some runic and some borderless. Let's see which we prefer here out of these two. So this is runic glass. That looks quite nice to look through. It would be really nice if, these, if we lost these kind of little middle sections. See, that's what you get. Do you even... You don't even get that because you have a corner here. So you can't really lose that. Yeah. So that's runic versus borderless. I think runic definitely fits better with the style. We're going for a kind of a rustic style. Rustic. Listen to me. What, what, what has happened to me? What, what happened to the Vic that would just slam like 100 blocks down and be like, yep, house is house. House is house. Do we want these to be three high? Of course, there's going to be a floor here, so you're going to stand at this height here. Maybe we'd want those. Maybe, hmm. I'm thinking now, you'd want to almost stand at this height here. Would you want those? But I like having that level of brick there as a divider. Maybe I'd build in the floor at this height. Maybe the floor would be raised in this house. I really don't know. And let's see. Do we want to make it three high or two high? So let's go for the runic. And let's see. Um... Oh, it's one of these guys sending... Those look so cool. But you're a big noob. You're a big noob. Oh, ate that one. You're a big noob, dude. And let's go to catch the goods. Ooh, all sorts of stuff there. 
all sorts of stuff. You know, I think I'm going to go for too high, I think. I think that's what I'm going to go for. And now I can look, look at what the brick would look like on top. Oh, wow. You pick this stuff back up when you break it as well. That's pretty hype, as far as hype goes. One, two, three. Something like that could work. And then there'll be something along the top. I'm not entirely sure what. Perhaps another kind of one of these wooden layers. Maybe actually this again. Maybe same again. What do we think to that? It's, it's hard. It's hard out here. Trying to work out what we want to do. Let's take a glance at this section as well. This would be something like this. Maybe we'd frame this window as well. We'd frame that like so. And then we're going to have... See, that looks really good. That window looks really good. Just going to get a tiny bit more glass. Now we're kind of, now we're kind of, now we've got the basis down. We can, we can kind of be a bit more active and everything, a bit more doing and a bit less thinking. What do you think? I guess I felt like I needed more structure. If we honestly had kind of like a, that's, I'm going to need a real nice slanting roof on top of here. If I could get that with this design in mind. I think we could be in business. Now, the only thing that worries me is the way this corner is. Does that look okay on the inside? Yeah, I think it does, actually. I think it does. We continue that to there. Have this a bit like this. Then maybe just a flat bricked section all the way to the edge here. Oh, we've, uh, we've exhausted those colorful bricks. Actually, I, what am I doing? I can make more right now. Why I've been leaving these sat in my inventory like that, I have no idea. Grab you, put you in here, make a load of the varied brick. That has been the sponsored material, the chosen material for the build. So you have that to there, big post coming up here. Then you're going to have, coming back along here, you're going to have, that's what I'm not entirely sure of. I mean, I'm assuming you're going to have some brick. I don't even know right now. Let's go and focus on this bit here. We can add our runic glass in here. Gonna add the brick on top. And this. If we had a nice roof on top of there, I'd rate it. I would maybe maybe we continue this window round, actually. Maybe, just maybe we do that. I feel like you lose a lot of the nice view. See how this looks. Yeah, that looks way nicer. I like that. I really like that a lot. That is cool. That helps a lot. And then here, we're probably going to have a big, big window frame type thing. Continue all the way along here. Nice view out there. So I think I think I will have the floor at this height here. I don't know. Maybe we'll have a raised section here. Oh, yeah. This whole section actually could be slabbed up. So you kind of walk up to here and you can look out around this little bit here. I like that, definitely. And then again, we're going with this along the top. Okay, one last section. I think again, I'm going to go for the nice big window in here. I'm, I'm glad I got as much brick as I did. It's become the key, the key material. And there we go. All right. Place is looking. Place is looking all right. We're actually getting somewhere with this. Now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do along here. We're running low on wood, actually, as it turns out, which is not not ideal. I'm going to get the top section done just because I can. We've decided upon this as being the dividing material. Now along here, we're going to have probably a front door in the middle. How many blocks is this? I haven't even counted this. There's been no math here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 blocks. So we're going to have a two wide door, which works perfectly. So it's going to be 10 blocks along. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Middle section is here. And here. So there we go. We're going to have a doorway in there. We're going to get some fancy custom doors. And then a window in the middle of each of these sections. One, two. That should be nine either side. That is even, I think. I hope. So we're going to need more, even more brick we can make. Oh, damn it. I got all of it out of here. Are we going to have enough? 
Let's see. I guess I didn't even need a crafting table for this. I don't need a crafting table at all. Okay, let's convert you into... Oh, we're going to just fall short here, perhaps? That's uh, interesting. That's one window section complete. And the other's going to run in. I think we're going to just about make it. Oh my gosh, please be perfect. There we go. With six to spare. Part of me is questioning how that links up. Because it doesn't seem the same. Mm. <laughs> what have we done with this corner here? We have made a mistake. What we could do... We could just bring that all in by one, actually. Oh no, that's going to mess up so many things. <laughs> that's going to mess up so many things. So, so many things. I feel like we're going to need to do something funky with the front door as well. Oh, loud. Oh, loud. Okay. So, let's see. Doors. What doors can we get? So, we probably want to go for... Um, you, you can just chisel regular doors, right? Oh, yeah. Carpenter's doors are what we want to make. Of course, carpenter's blocks. How do you make them again? Sticks around blocks. Okay. Okay. Definitely running low on. So how many of these? We need to make a few of these. Let's see. We need... Oh, wait. That makes five at a time. So we need 12. So there we go. That's enough to make two carpenter's doors. There we go. We're going to have these either side at the front. And here we go. Like you and like you. Now... Why is it always me? You know, I think I need to break. There we go, we got that back. Okay, we need these doors with the handles in the right place. Is it even going to let me do that? Handle there. You can instantly delete them then. Handle there. Perfecto. Now, what material are we going to stick on them? Ooh, matches. There we go, that matches the decor. And maybe if I actually put the those blocks lower down. And then we have some ru some some glass up there. Some of the runic glass. Let's go for it. Here we go. We're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. You know, the thing that I dread actually right now is the roof. Have that like that. I'm going to have all of these fitted. I don't think I'll even be able to fill any of these windows out. And then what was I going to do? There's nothing I can really do about that, is there? That's just kind of a quirk of the design, I think. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do about that being a little bit strange. I could bring it in one more and one more, but it's still not going to look symmetrical. <laughs> there's nothing that can be done. Nothing that can be done for your window, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are casualties and everything. Okay. Well. I've been working on this episode for a good few hours now, so I think what I'm going to do is uh, decide on the floor, actually. Let's decide what we're doing for the floor. <laughs> let's see. You know, I'd love to, you know, I've got all of this stone, so let's, let's, let's go for a stone brick floor, just because. What can we, what can we muster up here? Fancy stone, I like the look of, definitely. Oh, poison blocks. Jeez, you got a lot of a lot of stuff going on here. Let's see what we can do with some fancy stone. See how this looks. I'd want to kind of alternate as well. Maybe have like a trim. Maybe have some sort of material around the outside. Maybe that's what I could use the marble for, actually. We could have the marble around the outside. Actually, yes. The uh, large dents work really well for this because they, they all uh, merge up. So here, watch this. So for the outside section... We just have large dents going around. So I've, I've brought in some marble just for a bit of a different style. Where on earth did my pickaxe go? Why, why, are, why are things disappearing on me? Did it somehow end up in my backpack? Yeah, no, that's another pickaxe. I mean, I'll use it for now. Hopefully it can break blocks. Yeah, it breaks them, okay. I don't know what happened. If anyone knows what happened to my iron pickaxe, let me know. We're going to wrap up here shortly. Um, I just want to get this floor done. And then it's just going to be... Kind of on me to sort the rest of this out. And we've got, yeah, I'm glad I got all this marble now. Slight misplaces. 
There's no way to avoid those. I was gonna, actually going to have that section raised, wasn't I? We'll see how it looks. Thing is, I've got to remember that I'm actually a smaller height than I would usually be at. Let's change back to me. And it's going to look very different there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you get the nice forest view from here as is. I still may raise it up. I don't know. We'll see. Then how does this stuff look when it's all connected? Definitely like this. Definitely like the way this looks. This house has a very, very interesting dynamic to it. It's, it's edgy, I'd say. It's not symmetrical or anything. It's got its own flair to it. Maybe if I put, maybe just, I keep a rectangle going here. Check this out, of something. I'm not sure what. Uh, we could add, oh, I could add a really nice marble trim if I had any more, but I don't. We could add like a really like a fancy like gold marble is what I'm thinking. I may have to get some more of it. Let's see what we could add. I'm thinking, yeah, some of this ornate marble going around this section here. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. We're going to continue that around. Um, you know, I want to finish the floor in this episode. So I'm going to go get more marble, get that finished. As you fly in from the distance already, actually, the house is looking pretty nice. I'm going to need some lighting in here, actually, down the line. I actually, I don't think 20 is going to be enough. Let's see. It's going to be close. I feel like it might be like 20. I don't know, actually. Let's see. No, it should be fine because half of it was already done. Oh, it's going to be so darn close. Yeah, it was about 23 I needed. Okay, so we're going to get that. We can finish that in my own time. What other stone could we use for the middle? Actually, I need to cook some more, even more. Um, what did I have? Oh, yeah, it was the glass. I think I need more of that as well. What kind of stone should we put in the middle? I think something different to the fancy. What could we go for? Let me see. Just maybe just polished stone brick just to finish it. And it matches the color. We could have just some big stone brick to... Yeah, yeah, I like that. It matches actually really well with that marble. It almost looks like it's the same material. Sweet, so we'll finish that off like that, that like that. Then we will need to get some lighting, actually. I will probably, we could, that's something I think we could work on now. We could get it embedded into that middle section. I definitely have some more glowstone. Here we go. The two glowstone I was looking for, actually, to get the floor lighting in. Now, how can we customize these? Ooh, many options. Many options for lighting. Do we go for something funky? I think with glass, probably. Oh, no, no, just the neon. Just the neon. The neon looks insane, actually. So we would have one here. There we go. And that actually adds to the house a lot. And then we would have one. It would be just there. Yeah. And then we'll continue everything. So you can see quite clearly how that's going to look. That will light everything up on the inside. I'll probably stick up some fancy torches. Can you actually just craft torches? Let's open this up. They're in here. Can you? Yeah, you can chisel these into cool stuff. So what torch design are we going to go for? Um, we're going for the kind of rustic feel. I'd say probably these ones always look the best. We'd have some of those propped up. Something like this. Um, as for kind of middle spaces, we've not created the ideal house for that. That actually... Oh, there we go. What the heck was that? Did you guys hear that? I just heard a big explosion. Actually, before we do anything else... No, 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 no. Meteor. Um, meteor shield. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Where is it? Meteor shield. Redstone. Meteorite ingots, which I think I have, and cobblestone. Okay, and then I think you upgrade it with, yeah, the energy um, in this gem. Use it to upgrade them somehow. So, meteor. Wait, is this a shield? Yes. Okay, so we have we have some meteor, right? I'm pretty sure we do. Cracknerite. Hold up. If, if, if we don't have any, it's easy to get anyway. Could have sworn we had some. Or did I throw it out because I thought it was useless? So it kind of was. Let me see. Cracknerite. There might be some that I've missed, honestly. That's interesting as well. Okay. Yeah, let's go and, uh, let's go and grab some of that. Let's mine some up. I mean, there's got to be some nearby. Turns out there's some pretty much right next to our house. So we'll get, we need, how many was it? Three. It was just three. Three chips. Can you actually get it with three? Yep, there's one chip. And then this is going to be not two chips. Okay, yeah, it's going to take a while. Let me get all this made and smelted. Sweet, got our three chips made. And actually, we can get the rest of our stone from here now. I should have got the uh, extra, the extra stuff. 
Yeah, again, everyone knows what I'm talking about. Should have got the extra marble walls down that way. We can finish off this section now. Beautiful. Get the polished stone in. More than enough to complete this. There we go. We just need a tiny bit of marble there. And I dig it. I dig it with a shovel and with any other material. We have, surely we have more cobblestone. Yes, we do. There we go. And then what was in the middle? Was it redstone? Let's see. It was. Oh, wait, what's all this stuff? Wait, this was, this was the same stuff I was looking at. Here we go. Meteor shield. Redstone. Okay, we have redstone. In this one. Nah, surely. Surely we have redstone. Okay, I need to go and get some redstone. I'm going to go and hunt that out. And sorted. Let's make this. Right now, we can actually make it in here. So the redstone, the meteorite ingots, and then the cobblestone. There you go, meteor shield. Does it show the range it's active at? Jeez, this thing looks crazy. If I just put it in... Oh, symmetry. Plus, there is no place for you in my home. Where it's all slightly... Maybe I should have put the front door in the middle of there. Because that's the midpoint between this and this. But I guess it's, it's whatever. Where do I put this down? I guess, because if my house gets hit with a meteor, I cry. I cry so many tears. Let's just put it there. Charged. Okay. Oh, you put in meteor chips. Oh, that's how you upgrade it. Shield charging. So let's go in here. We can upgrade the range of it, actually, with... Where is it? Where is it? It's in my carrot backpack. Here we go. Add in a red meteor gem. I guess it has to be charged for that. Let's go and get one more chip as well to feed it. I also put in the marble, as you can see. So it looks like it's about to be fully charged. I guess once it's charged, I want to... Um, oh, I see. Okay, you could put a chip straight in to fully charge it. Red meteor gems should make the shield stronger. Okay, so block comets on. Comets are currently being blocked. If I add this, power level 2 of 5, do we know where it's protecting to? Um, it just... It, oh, range 128 blocks. That's huge. Okay, so yeah, this whole area should be pretty safe right now. I may actually move this to, uh, probably just move this to the hill just up from the house. I assume you can just pick it up and move it. So there we go, it's deactivated. Imagine, I just deactivate a meteor, just goes BAM! Like, you shouldn't have done that, boy. Okay, let's just throw it up on the hill here. This is kind of going to be plenty in range. So now you can put that in, that fully charges it. And then that gives it big range. Yeah, I mean, even 64 blocks would have been fine, but now 128, we know we're clearly safe in the whole vicinity. Probably giving Lachlan's place some protection, actually, out there. So, there we go. Lots actually achieved, and we can see the very physical manifestation of that. I'm going to finish it off, polish it off. Probably going to be a while before we get the roof in, just because I don't even want to think about having to roof this bad boy right here but that is it for the episode hopefully you guys enjoyed would love to hear your thoughts on everything down below and of course i'll see you all in the next episode thank you and goodbye